Hello my fellow Kenyans, I'm Gakonga the coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. Habari zenu wa Kenya wenzangu. Today I need my glass today because today I want us to talk about the economy. I want us to talk about the economy of football in Kenya and you know in economy and accountancy every figure matters. Every little detail matters. So let us let us start now. My fellow Kenyans, I want us to agree that we need to do something to help our people to uplift our people from poverty and the best thing we can do is increase our economy we need to increase our country's economy our country's gdp must increase so that we can uplift our fellow kenyans from poverty so anyone's contribution is welcomed your contribution my contribution is so important and in this issue of sports and sports economy is the area that i want us to con to concentrate well and is the area that i want us to champion the implementation of uh, Vision Total Football Kenya so that Kenya can realize um, the economy of sports. Number one, I want to say this. The entire oil fields in Kenya, all the Trukana oil that we have today, if the Trukana, all the Trukana oil was sold today, Kenya would, get, would earn 2.8 trillion Kenya shilling from the Trukana oil. But during the excavation of Trokana oil, which started in 2012, already today, 200 billion Kenya shillings has been used. So if you take 2.8 trillion minus 200 billion Kenya shilling, you are left with the 2.6 trillion Kenya shilling. But the digging is still going on. We have not reached the end of exp ex excavation yet, so we can start selling oil fully. So uh, the oil itself, the oil reserve, that is expected to be found is a uh, 1 billion barrel of oil and currently a barrel of oil is costing uh, 28 US dollar so if we sold the, the the entire oil field which is 100 billion uh, sorry which is 1 billion barrel it would give us 2.8 trillion Kenya shilling that is the entire economy of the oil in Kenya now this is key where we are going next now, we, we are hoping that by the time the whole excavation is finished and Kenya is selling oil fully, another 200 billion would have been spent. Therefore, the 200 billion that has already been spent and the new 200 billion that will be spent to, to get to the end of the digging and excavation and labor, that will be a total of 400 billion Kenya shilling. So if you take the original figure, 2.8 trillion Kenya shilling minus 400 billion, we are left with 2.4 billion Kenya shilling. If that's the money that Kenya will get after selling Trokana oil, this is the point. Football economy can bring the same amount of money in just seven years. Therefore, Trukana oil as excavation started in 2012. Up to now, we have not reached the end. That is six years already. And we are still waiting more years for to get to the end of the digging so that we can start exporting oil fully. Now, football economy in Kenya. Once Vision Total Football Kenya has been embraced and it is implemented, in just seven years' time, our Kenyan football economy is going to hit around 300 billion Kenya shilling per year. The government will earn 300 billion Kenya shilling per year from football, which right now is a burden, is a nightmare, is earning the government nothing. It is earning Kenyans nothing. That economy yeah, can be grown yeah, within seven to eight years of implementation of Vision Total Football Kenya, up to 300 billion Kenya shilling. Now, if we get this economy... 300 billion Kenya shillings per year. In just eight years, that is 2.8 trillion Kenya shillings where our football economy will reach. At that point, that money football is bringing in eight years' time is equivalent to the entire oil in Kenya, entire oil fields in Trokana. If all is sold, the government is going to get about 2.4 trillion Kenya shillings. But if we can realize this money already from football in just seven years, years my fellow kenyans why are we not concentrating in football because in today's life football and the sports is the modern oil field is the modern gold mine so let us concentrate in sports and let us start with the football we have a vision for football ready all it need is it 
All it needs is full implementation and then Kenya can start realizing the economy of sports. So what I want to say to the government of Kenya, what I want to say to, 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 to His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta is that we have a new economy on our hands. Vision Total Football Kenya will make Kenyan football economy reach 300 billion Kenya shilling in just seven years. We need, to, we need to tap into this economy. We have a youthful generation. All they need is opportunities and to make facilities available for them to play football and to streamline our football, restructure our football so that we are ready to go. And we are going to realize 300 billion Kenya shilling uh, per year income in just seven years time. Now, if this money is the same, Trokana oil, all oil fields in Kenya sold will bring 2.4 billion Kenya shilling. But on the other side, again, if football is, is taken care of, it will bring the same amount of money in just seven years. But the point is, football is a renewable resource. Oil is not a renewable resource. Once, once we sold the entire oil that is in Trokana, we are done forever. No more oil. If we deal with football every single new year, we are going to get 300 billion Kenya shilling. Therefore, this renewable resource, football, yeah, because playing football is like providing service. And then the economy around it will get into 3 billion Kenya shilling. Therefore, football is something we cannot ignore. Sports economy is something we cannot ignore. And I'm so confident that Kenyans together united, let us deal with our football. Let us help our youths. We have a youthful population. 70% of Kenyans are youth. So all we need, like I said, is to make them be able to play football. Human capital is so great. We have it in our country. All we need is, uh, is facilities here and there and put the structures right and the management right and we can deliver this economy on the table for the government of Kenya. 300 billion Kenya shilling per year economy. That will uplift thousands and thousands of Kenyans from poverty. So, my fellow Kenyans, let us go into the next small chapter. England sports economy as of now, it stands at seven no, 2.7 trillion Kenya shilling. Imagine that is sports economy in a country, 2.7 trillion Kenya shilling. If Kenya was only to achieve in sports economy 5% of what England is earning from sports, Kenya today would earn 130 billion Kenya sharing from sports. Do you know how much that money would help the country today? In this period of COVID and in this time when the government is so strained in expenditure, 130 billion Kenya shilling would do miracles in Kenya. And remember, that is only 5% of England's sports economy. This is not a dream too far. To achieve 5% out of out of elsewhere where they are achieving 100%, we just need to achieve 5% and we would have 130 billion Kenya shilling today. But going forward, I'm talking of a football economy that is 300 billion Kenya shilling per year. Now, in this English football, uh, English sports economy, 2.5, 2.7 trillion per year, football in that, football brings in 180 billion Kenya shillings per year to England's uh, economy and uh, the tourism yeah tourists who come to watch football in England are contributing to 70 billion Kenya shilling to English football so football itself is bringing 180 billion Kenya shilling but the football tourism is bringing 70 billion Kenya shilling even this figure of tourism football tour, football tourists who are bringing 70 billion Kenya shilling. If Kenya was to achieve just 10% of that, that would be 7 billion Kenya shilling from tourists coming to watch Kenyan football. So this goes back to what I'm saying that if we deal with our football, we are going to grow our country's economy massively and it's going to uplift thousands of people from poverty. Now the next thing is this. Let's talk about taxes, government collection. In England, the 20 English Premier League clubs they pay to the government 400 billion Kenya shilling per year in taxes. Just 20 clubs. English, the EPL that you watch while you're in Kenya, the clubs are paying 
400 billion Kenya shilling to the government. Now the football players in England, they pay a hundred collectively, 130 billion Kenya shillings in taxes to the government. If you put these two figures together, you, you, you will learn that the government in England is collecting 530 billion Kenya shilling from from the 20 English Premier League clubs, my fellow Kenyans. 130 from the players as taxes and 400 billion from the 20 clubs as taxes. Football is the new gold mine. Football is the new oil field. This is the secret that the Western know. This is the secret that the European have known for a long time. This is the hidden secret that sports, specifically football, is the new gold mine. But holistic approach for all our sports in Kenya will really help our country. In England, there is, there are 46 sports discipline. Football is just one of them. And football is bringing 2.7 trillion Kenya shilling. Ask yourself. No, no, football is bringing 180 80 billion Kenya shilling. Sports is bringing 2.7 billion Kenya shilling. That is the economy of sports in England. It tells you the economic patterns in the world have changed. Farming will not make Kenyans rich. Farming is important so we can feed the nation. But if we want to transform our economy, we must move away from just talking too much about farming. We need to invest in manufacturing and service industries. Football is a service industry and it is huge. I, will, I cannot say enough. Football is the new gold mine. Football is the new oil fields. My fellow Kenyans, let us wake up. Let us help our government. A government can only do so much. We need to help our government. We can't keep crying and complaining. Seriously, we need to think seriously and help our government. Now, my parting shot is this. England FA, England Football Association, equivalent of FKF, here in England, England Football Association that I'm a member of as a coach, we, all England Football Association, makes 350 billion Kenya shilling per year. That is a lot of money. That is the federation itself. The turnover or the income that federation has is 350 billion Kenya shilling. Imagine if FKF was ambitious and made only 1% of that, it would be 3.5 billion Kenya shillings. Do you know what that would do to our football in Kenya? Therefore, when I say FKF, our football federation is asleep, the leadership is dead, there's no vision, there's no focus. I do not understand why FKF makes nothing out of a country that has 50 million Kenyan people. Here in England, the population is similar to that of Kenya. But the federation is making 350 billion Kenya shilling. On the other side in Kenya, FKF is making nothing. It is crying. It is begging the government for the sports fund. Kenyan Premier League is doing the same, begging the government for the sports fund. We have a total failed leadership in our Kenyan football. And I really, I really, really beg Everyone, we need to help our government so that our government can increase yeah, the earnings, the economy, so that Kenyans can be uplifted from poverty. Now, I want to talk about Scotland Football Association. It makes 4.5 billion Kenya shilling. From what? From a population of just 5 million people. Remember, Kiambu has 2 million population. Kajiado has 750 Moranga has 750. So Kajiado and Moranga plus Kiambu, that is the population of uh, that's the population of Scotland, 5 million people. And from that, Scottish FA can earn itself. This is not the Scotland sports economy. This is just the English, this is just the Scottish Football Association I'm talking about. It makes 4.5 billion Kenya shilling. Why can't FKF make anything? We really need to rethink and ask questions. Questions must be answered because we cannot continue like this, that Football Federation in Kenya is expecting for Mamamboga to fund it. Yeah? Kenya Premier League is expecting for Mamamboga to fund it from the sports fund money that is collected from betting companies. If betting companies are making money in Kenya, why is Kenya Premier League not making money? Why is FKF not making money? This is as simple as this. Failed leadership. Failed leadership, lack of vision, lack of focus, lack of innovation, and time wasting. 
we need to deal with our football so that it can earn money for Kenya. Kenya as a country need help. My brothers and sisters need to be uplifted from poverty and sports will contribute so much to Kenyan sport to Kenya's sports economy. I'm saying in just 7 to 8 years after implementation of Vision Total Football Kenya, football will be able to put on the table 300 billion Kenya shillings per year for our government so that our government can give our people services, health, education for free. My fellow Kenyan, sports is the new oil field. Sports is the new yeah, gold mine. I live in peace, I'm gone.